Presenting the Compact Attic Ladder from Keller. Built for attic openings as small as 18 by 24 inches, it is both lightweight and durable, yet can handle a load of 250 pounds. It fits most houses with standard construction, and it opens easily and closes smoothly. This video explains the easy steps for installation and ladder operation. Note that this ladder comes with hinges and latch to install a door, but the choice of door materials is up to the homeowner. This chart shows the minimum and maximum dimensions necessary. Make sure your space is within these ranges before you proceed. Before you begin, read and understand the instructions completely. Tools required to install the compact attic ladder are a step ladder, an awl, a saw, a power drill, Phillips head screwdriver, half inch and sixteenth inch drill bits, adjustable pliers, a tape measure, hammer, and a pencil. The assist arm can be attached on either the left or right side of the ladder. Check the space in your attic to determine on which side you want to mount it. Make certain you have a minimum finished opening of 21 inches by 15 inches and 44 inches clearance behind the rough opening. Step 1 is preparing the opening. First remove any existing trim and hardware. Then inspect to make certain you have sufficient floor surface according to the chart to install the ladder. Next is assembling the ladder. For this you'll need a hammer and the left and right hinge guides. The ladder's front section can be identified by its rounded feet. On the rear section of the ladder, carefully tap out the tacks with a hammer and remove the plastic end caps from the bottom. Next, slide the hinge guides onto the uppermost frame section. The brackets should be positioned outwards with the double hold half toward the ladder's top. Apply a small piece of tape to hold them in place. Do not replace the end caps. They'll be needed later. Next you'll determine if you need additional top stops and how to fit them on. If your ladder has an operating height in any of these three ranges, you will need to fit additional top stops. Be sure to measure from the floor to the attic floor, not the floor to the ceiling. First locate the additional top stops over the holes approximately 6 inches below the permanent top stops on the rear section of the ladder. Then make sure the hinge guides are already in place below the additional top stops. And attach the additional top stops as shown. Next slide the bottom stops onto the rear rails six inches from the end of the rails. Secure with the screws. Replace the bottom plastic end caps previously removed and secure them with tacks. Now that the ladder has been prepared, it's time to install it. To support the compact attic ladder, a minimum of three-quarter inch flooring and the full ladder width behind the opening is necessary. Center the ladder in the opening and locate the hinge guide bracket arms on the top edge of the opening frame. Mark the guide holes with a pencil and then pre-drill pilot holes 1 16th diameter for all six screws. Attach with 35 mm screws. The bracket arms with the two screw holes should be on top. If flooring material covers the top edge of the 